Good morning, everybody. This is Devin Bates from Burrito Reproduction, and I thought I would do a short video today to describe and demonstrate um, a bookbinding project that I did for a publishing course last semester at SFU. Um, we were given a book, book to bind. Unfortunately, we weren't able to choose our book, so the book we were given was um, Alice in Wonderland, of course, by the legendary Lewis Carroll. Um, our task was to lay it out, um, design the cover, um, and then bind it. So I thought I would just go through some of the technical details um, and show you a little bit of the process. So uh, as you can see, we'll start with the cover, I suppose, since that's the most obvious piece of the puzzle here. It's a, it was designed by me, an illustrator. We had to do something original. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm not an, an, an illustrator or a guru, but uh, I wanted to kind of create something that represented the, um, the kind of emotional anguish that Alice feels throughout uh, her journeys and, and her, her tribulations to overcome that. So I kind of have this ah, eye crying out. Um, that was when she was small. Um, but uh, yeah, so the text itself, there's some, there's some interesting things happening in the text. This is laid out in uh, Poetica Standard. And uh, we can see that there's, uh, I love Poetica Standard because of all of its alternatives. So you can see here the A um, has got this very beautiful um, leg that's descending and uh, the in and the I and the in and, uh, and the N. The S as well is um, not, I've, I forced it um, with the uh, rest of the word um, through a little bit of kerning, um, but they are both still Poetica standard. And then um, this, um, the title, or the author rather, and the, uh, the, the side, the, the spine is um, set in Garamon Premium Pro. And uh, here's the back. It's got its ISBN. Um, again, we have another alternative. So, um, yeah, the cover is actually relatively thin. Um, it's glossy thin. Um, unfortunately, uh, I was limited by choice. I wanted to make a small paperback book because this is probably my favorite type of book. Um, some of my favorite books I've ever read uh, I reread and reread again, and they're all of these very small, flexible, you know, throw them in your pocket, um, read them on the bus, uh, read them again and again. I'm always really surprised on how durable these books can be um, if you treat them with even just a touch of care. Not a lot of care, just a touch. So that was kind of my inspiration for this one. Um, unfortunately, though, yeah, the, the cover is a little bit thin for my liking, but it did have that nice glossy touch to it that I want, I want, I really wanted. So the binding process, this was done, I, this is a simply bound, simple binding, uh, perfect, sorry, rather perfect binding. Um, so essentially what this is, is, here, let's grab this one, it's a little bit more square. So essentially what we have here is a bunch of sewn signatures, um, which you should be able to see eventually. There you go. You can kind of see them. These signatures have been sewn together and then gl glued uh, and then attached to the cover. Um, it was a little bit difficult to get it uh, to get it to be square. This one's a little bit nicer than the other one. Um, but yeah, not so bad. Um, very durable. You can feel it. The spine is nice and strong. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's take a look inside the cover, shall we? Okay, so that's the first page, very reminiscent of the other one. Um, there's the front matter. Give yourself a little credit. Um, blank page, and the first page of chapter one. So um, yeah, you can see the fonts are still the same. Um, I chose to give it a nice. I wanted to have a lot of room. Uh, on the outside margins. I, well, I wanted all the margins to be quite voluptuous. Um, the inside gutter is a little bit uh, rougher. I'll show that page in a second. Um, but when you see a full spread, it does have a nice um, kind of vibe to it. it, it it's, it's inviting. Um, 
We can see the folio contains the book and the page as well as the chapter on the other side. Um, there was one that was, there was a poem that had to remain its shape. It's supposed to be this, it's supposed to be a mouse's tail. That's cute. Um, yeah, but other than that, it's a pretty straightforward book. Um, one thing that I found that I wasn't expecting that I think I probably would have changed had I done it again is that, um, of course, the word queen is often used in this book uh, because of, obviously, the Queen of Hearts. Um, and as you see, I've kind of chose this alternative um, for the Q that kind of descends beyond the baseline. And um, I perhaps this is a little bit um, distracting, I might, I might say. Um, so I think in the future, I would probably limit such... Um, design choices to to concepts that aren't aren't so commonly used, like you see also the queen's croquet. I think it looks beautiful up there. That would have been great, but I think I probably could have taken off the queen bit. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show you. I made two. Um, I found the process of bookbinding to be great, and um, it's a lot of fun, and I look forward to doing it again. Um, so yeah, um, thank you very much for watching, and um, if you liked it, please leave a comment, and uh, I'll hopefully I'll um, talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.